Let me show you how easy it is to replace any OpenAI model, for example, GPT-4, with a self-hosted instance of DeepSec AI in an already existing system. With self-hosting, you benefit from the fact that your data remains private and you minimize on costs, but you also have to factor in the cost of even self-hosting the model. Let's say you're now taking the system to, to production. You're going to see that the code changes are very, very minimal, that your cost structure is going to remain the same. For the self-hosting part, we are going to use Olama, as Olama enables us to run open source models, even on CPU. I'm going to open my browser and go to the Olama website. And if you don't have Olama already installed, follow the installation process based on the operating system that you're using. So in the terminal, since I'm on Mac, I'm going to use brew install Olama. In the event that Olama is already installed, this is going to update the Olama version. After the installation is done, let us move on to the part where we host DeepSeekAI on our local environment. So let's go to models, click on DeepSeek R1. I'm going to use the 7 billion parameter version, but if your system is resource constrained, you can go for the 1.5 billion parameter version. It will work well. Go back to the terminal. Let me clear and paste. Olama run DeepSeek R1 is going to pull the DeepSeq model and run it on your system. But as I said, if your system is resource constrained, like you don't have much RAM, you can use the 1.5 billion parameter version. And for those who are not keen on self-hosting the model, the code changes that we are going to do are similar to what you do even when you are integrating directly with DeepSeq because DeepSeq AI is open AI API compatible. And DeepSeq has been locally installed. So to test it, let's just ask it about life. What is life? And then it has responded back with a philosophical answer. To make an API call to our Olam instance, let's open a new tab. Let us make a call request to our Olam API and call the DeepSeq model. Let us submit the prompt as hello there. DeepSeq has responded saying, hello, how can I assist you today? So our Olama API is working as expected and we can make a request to DeepSeq R1, which is self-hosted. We are now moving on to the part where we replace OpenAI's GPT-4 or any OpenAI model for chat with the self-hosted DeepSeq R1. I'm going to open my web storm. We have the starter code, which we used OpenAI for a WhatsApp chatbot for conversational intelligence. For those who are new here, I've included the link to the GitHub repository in the description box. So what you can just do is git clone, then the link. This will copy the starter code so that you can easily follow. In our OpenAI service, where we were taking the user responses and sending to OpenAI in order to respond back to the user, what we simply need to do is in the OpenAI class instantiation. We specify the base URL, which is the URL from which our Olama instance is listening on. HTTP localhost port 11.434 slash version one. With only this change, our API requests using the OpenAI library are going to be sent to our Olama instance. On the chat completions part, which is responsible for sending the response to GPT-4. We just specified the model as DeepSeq R1. And with this change, we are now sending the request to our locally hosted DeepSeq R1 model, which is the equivalent of what we were doing here on the terminal. In order to test if everything is working, start our dev server using npm run start dev it's going to listen on port 3000 and since you can't communicate with the whatsapp cloud api via http in order to expose our local environment to the internet let's open a new tab and use ngrock or grok whatever you call it http 3000 this then creates an https tunnel which will be forwarding requests to our local environment 
So let us check this URL, open the Facebook for developers platform and configure our webbook. Click on my applications, Artista chatbot, under configuration, let us change the URL, then the verification token, we open our environment file and take the WhatsApp Cloud API webbook verification token, paste it, verify and save. There was an extra space on app, so verify and save. Our webbook has been verified. Meaning to say, if we open our chatbot, all the requests that we are going to do are going to be sent to our server. So moment of truth, let us test our chatbot. Let me send a message which says, hello there. And DeepSeekR1 has responded, but for some reason, it has included its thinking process because DeepSeek is a thinker. So how best can we solve for this? This is due to the fact that DeepSeek was trained to reason, but in terms of the user experience, on a WhatsApp chatbot, we are not concerned about what is thinking. We just want the response. We can implement a way around it. And in the OpenAI service, when we receive the AI response, we can further process it. So let's say constant formatted text is equal to AI response dot replace. Then we remove the think tags and anything in between those think tags. Then we save the formatted text into our context, which we then trim in order to ensure that there is no trailing or leading space left behind. After that, we return the formatted text, the trimmed version. We could declare this in a variable and then pass the variable, but for testing purposes, I think it will do. Moment of truth. Let us go to our chatbot and send a message. What's happening? And there you have it. The model was responded properly without the thinking tags. And that's it. You've now replaced GPT-4 with the self-hosted DeepSeek R1 whilst keeping your data private and under your control. If this was helpful, Check out my other videos on AI chatbot development.